can see green grass mm -hmm. mountains. Green grass mountains. Tell me about these mountains. What do they look Snow -capped like? Snow-capped mountains. Mm -hmm. Snow-capped mountains. Like the Alps. Mm -hmm. Tell me beautiful. more. What else do you see there? It's so beautiful. I feel like I'm walking up a mound, a hill. Mm -hmm. There's no flat land. It's just hilly. And the houses are on top of the little mounds. What do they look like, these houses? Huts mm -hmm. with straw roofs. Mm -hmm. And as you're walking up this mountain, do you feel like you have a physical body there? I do. Mm -hmm. Take a look at your feet as you walk up this mountain. What do you look like? Look like little girl feet. Mm -hmm. Little girl feet. What do you, what do these feet look like? They look so tiny. Mm -hmm. Small little feet. Mm -hmm. Do these little feet have anything on them? No. Mm -hmm. no. What color is your skin? White. Mm -hmm. Let's find out a little bit more about yourself. What do you look like? I have white hair. White hair. It's not blonde, it's white. Mm -hmm. What does the rest of you look like? I have a green dress on. Mm -hmm. How long is this dress? Just a little below my knees. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. What does your face look like? I think I'm really cute. Mm -hmm. I've got really white hair. I seem to be very happy. How old do you feel there? Maybe eight, mm -hmm. seven or eight. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's find out where you're going to today. Okay. Describe the whole adventure for me. Okay. I feel like I'm walking up a mountain. Not a mountain, but a hill. Mm -hmm. And I'm walking towards a house. I see an old man um, doing something with hay and a pitchfork. And it's not an expensive house. I mean, it's just like a hut, but pretty cute. Mm -hmm. What does the old man look like? He has white hair also. Mm -hmm. I think he's, he's old like my grandfather. I think he's my grandfather. Mm -hmm. And uh, I feel like I'm walking towards the house happily. What happens next? I go inside. Mm -hmm. It's little, but what, I like it. What's in this house? I see an old lady at the stove. The dining table's to my right, the kitchen's to my left. What else is in this place? Everything's that yellow wood. I feel real happy. Mm -hmm. so, I think I'm eating now. Mm -hmm. what I see are you myself eat? at the table. What are you eating? It's a soup. Mm -hmm. It's a soup and a bread. I don't feel like I have any problems at all. I feel real content. I'd like for you to take this moment now and soak that feeling in. I think I love it there. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. I feel I see myself going out of the house, and I have a sense that I'm going to go play. Mm -hmm. So let's see what you do. Mm. I feel like I think there's a dog with me, mm -hmm. a dog or a cat. I just think it's a dog, and um, he went with me. Let's see where you go. Okay. Where we do were, you go to play? We have this trail, and we walk up to see the, you can 
see the mountains really well. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think I get scared. Let's see what happens. I know my dog's with me, but I, I feel like I'm trying to run back, but I can't. Let's see what happens. What scares you? I, there's an animal after me. Mm-hmm. You can stop that scene and see what that animal is. It looks like a wolf. Mm-hmm. What happens? I'm running, and I can't outrun it. And my dog's trying to help me, but it gets my dog. I see my my dog. And I can't outrun it. What happens? He gets me. My grandparents didn't expect it. They didn't know it was going to happen. Mm-hmm. So you can separate yourself from that body, see it from beyond, and tell me what happens to your body. I'm torn up. Mm -hmm. I'm really torn up. I don't see any any particular wounds. I just see bites. Mm -hmm. It killed me. All right, so leave that body behind. And let's see what happens to your soul as you leave that body. I am going up. Mm-hmm. Describe it for me. Oh, wow. What do you experience? I feel like I'm going up in a beam of light. Mm-hmm. I don't feel like it's a tunnel. I feel like it's a beam. What does this beam feel like? Love, beauty, mm-hmm. peace, God. Keep going. Let's see where it takes you. I'm not met by parents, but I'm met by older people. Mm-hmm. What do they look like? I see they're all in a dress somewhat the same. In somewhat, but in a toga gown, mm-hmm. or the, and I don't really, they just seem so um, young. Everybody's not teenager young, but 30s, 40s. Mm-hmm. And they're in toga gowns? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do they say anything to you? No, but I, I, I just feel them around me, but I don't I don't see any voices or hear mm-hmm. anybody talking to me. Mm-hmm. So I'd like for you now to understand your soul so you can connect with them mind to mind and soul to soul. And their voices will be your thoughts. Let's find out what this welcoming is all about. I know they're telling me I did a good job and it was a short life, but it was supposed to be that way. Mm -hmm. Let's find out why. What was the reason for that life? What was the purpose of it? My grandparents loved me and they, they got love. Something about my grandparents Mm -hmm. loving me, you know. Yes. And and they got lessons from that. Were you that there? nothing is forever. Mm-hmm. Were you there for them? Not in heaven. Mm-hmm. On the earth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you learn any lessons from that life? Oh, I learned how to love mm-hmm. and be loved. Very good. So let's find out what happens after you reach heaven. What happens next? I see like the, a white room with counsel, the, or I would say that like a judge's chamber with a bunch of well, not chairs, maybe it was just, just a big table and people standing behind it. Mm-hmm. Nobody's sitting, but there's a lot of people behind that table and around me. And they're all saying things like, you did good. Mm-hmm. We're proud of you, you know. 
So let's find out a little bit about this council. Okay. What are you there to learn now with them? I think they're now going to show me what my next life will be. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm being told that I will stay a little bit up at home and then I will go back. All right. So let's find out what this next life is going to be. How do they explain this life or show you? It's definitely going to be a longer life. Mm -hmm. I'm going to live a full life. I see a 1930s car, big bulbous car on a freeway. I'm on the California coast. And I'm driving as if I know where I'm going. I've got a hat on. Mm -hmm. And I'm a man. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what happens. Where are you going? I feel scared. Mm -hmm. I know that I have a gun, and I know that they have a gun where I'm going. But I don't think I'm going to survive it. But I'm willing to die. Mm -hmm. So let's step back and find out where it is that you're going and why you're scared. I feel like I'm driving fast and I can't take my eyes off the road because I'm driving so fast and I'm so nervous. Mm -hmm. But I know I gotta do this. And I feel just mean enough to do it. Mm -hmm. I, I am that angry. Let's find out what has gotten you so angry. Let's stop the scene right there. Okay. And we're going to go back in time, a little bit back to find out what caused all of this anger and who was there to make you angry. Be there now. I was betrayed. Mm -hmm. We did a bank job. How many and were they, involved? Four. Mm -hmm. Two of them ran off with the money. and stuck us to at a hotel thinking like idiots that they were going to be right back. Tell me more. I feel like I'm expecting someone. Mm -hmm. Let's find out who you're expecting. I want them to bring the money to me. I want my part. Mm -hmm. Where are do you? do this for nothing. Where are you? I'm in a hotel, mm -hmm. a motel. And who are you waiting for? I'm waiting for the two guys to bring me my part of the money. And they're not showing up. And we know we've been ripped off. And I am furious. Mm -hmm. What's your name? Carl. Mm-hmm. Carl, what year is this? 1937. Mm-hmm. And where are you? I'm in California, off the coast. Why are you ripping off the bank, Carl? We've always ripped off people, banks, mm -hmm. trucks, semis. That's, what That's your do. job? Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's four of you? There's really more of us, but four of us were in on this mm -hmm. bank robbery. All right. So let's... What do you decide to do, Carl? We're not sure if the cops got them or if they just ripped us off, but we're pretty darn angry and we're making phone calls trying to find them while we're in the hotel room. And then I get a knock on the door. I opened up the door. And I feel a knife in my belly button. And then I feel it all the way up my stomach. He ripped me off. I trusted him more than the other guy. Oh my God. Not only did he rob us, but he, he killed me. What's his name? Dennis. Look at his eyes and see if you recognize the soul. I don't. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens next. Where do you go now, Carl? I 
I'm in a hospital. Mm -hmm. I survived, but I'm very sick. Doctor said I'm probably not going to survive, but I, I did. I think I'm going to change my life now. Mm -hmm. But I have to worry about not the cops, but the the company. Mm -hmm. They're going to come get me. I wish they just killed me. Let's see what happens next. Let's close that scene and go to the next significant scene in that lifetime. What happens, Carl? I see me with a wife and children. Mm -hmm. and choosing to be good. How does that make you feel? Good. Mm -hmm. I, I've never been loved before, and my wife loves me, and that's enough to make me do right. Mm -hmm. I'll be okay. Very good. So, Carl, let's close that scene, and let's go to the last day of that lifetime and see what happens. Where are you? I'm in a hospital. Mm -hmm. How old are you there? 69. Mm -hmm. What's happening to you, Carl? I have throat cancer. And I'm not going to survive it. But I'm ready. Mm -hmm. I'm really ready. I'm exhausted. As you think back at your life, Carl, how do you feel you did? I don't think I did good in the beginning. I know I didn't, but I feel like I made up for it. Mm -hmm. I had kids, and I was good to them. I was good to my wife. I hope, I hope I'm forgiven for what I've done. Very good. So now I'd like for you to advance the last breath of your life in that lifetime. Allow yourself to leave that body. And as you leave that body, tell me what happens. I'm in a tunnel. Mm. It's so grayish and white and cloudy and not too big but not tight. Mm -hmm. it, it's so beautiful. <laughs> oh my God. They did forgive me. Mm -hmm. they, I was forgiven. What happens? I, I, I'm on the other side and I see Mom, I see Dad. Oh, my. What do they tell you, Carl? They're welcoming me. Mm -hmm. well. So as you look back at that life and now see it from a different point of view, what was the reason that you chose that line of work? Mm. Being a gangster. Mm -hmm. That's all I grew up around, bad people. It just came natural for me. Mm -hmm. It's just what we did at that and at that time. What do you think you learned from that life? Definitely, I've learned to forgive myself. I couldn't do it for a long time, but I for, I have forgiven myself. Mm -hmm. I've learned that we all make mistakes, and as long as you correct it, things should be okay. Good. So let's continue now and see where your soul goes after you meet your family. I, I know I'm in heaven. Mm -hmm. Tell me why. What do you see? Oh my goodness. Everybody's so white and not like their skin. Like the white light I envision. Mm hmm. I feel so happy. I didn't expect to come here. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. I didn't expect to come here. I thought it was going to be horrible. I thought it was going to a terrible place. This is so wonderful. Oh, I've never felt. 
Take a look around and see if there are any of your guides there with you. There's people around me. Mm -hmm. Yes, guides. Yes. What do they tell you? They seem real pleased with me. Mm -hmm. Let's ask your guides if they were with you this whole time. They were. Mm -hmm. Let's find out if there's a particular one that saved you. Sammy. Mm -hmm. He says, I knew you'd make it, buddy. I knew you'd make it. I guess I've known him. I know him. Mm -hmm. Is Sammy with you in all of your lives or just this one? Just this one. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm so at peace. They tell me that it'll be a short stay. Get ready, because I'm, I'm, I'm going in for another one soon, but I'll get some time there. Mm -hmm. So let's find out where it is that you go to prepare for your next life. I'm back at that table, that room. Mm -hmm. They're sitting now, and there's some people standing around, and I'm standing. I have no fear. I just feel like they're telling me what I'm going to do next. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about them telling you what you're going to do next? I don't seem to be disappointed. I seem to be... I do want to spend some time there, but I'm willing to go back and do an even better job than I did the last time. Mm -hmm. I feel like I need to, mm -hmm. to make up for what I've done. Mm -hmm. Some things I got by with didn't pay any price for it, and I gotta go back and do that. So let's find out how it is that you pick your family. They help us. Mm -hmm. What are and you looking for in this life, in this next life that you're going to go to? How do you pick? I think they're it's like we're just in an agreement, mm -hmm. you know. We, I don't know what I'm supposed to go do, but I feel like I'm okay with it, and I mm -hmm. feel like it's about the next coronation. Mm -hmm. But I also feel like they're really letting me know I'll get to stay for a little bit. So let's find out how it is that this works. How do you get to your next life? What do you have to do to prepare for it? When you're on the other side, it's so easy to plan for the most perfect life. Mm -hmm. That's why you need the counsel, is because it can't be perfect. They're going to come in and show you the lessons you haven't learned. And lessons you have learned, you go over it, and then you, you realize what you need to learn in your next life. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what lessons it is that need to be learned in this next life. To choose good and not choose evil. Mm -hmm. To be good and not be bad. It's just a choice. It's so easy. And the whole time you're bad, you're just miserable. So we need the counsel to help us balance our next life out where there's some good and some bad, some learning. The bad is lessons, really. Mm -hmm. We say bad, but that's what you come here to do is learn. So what happens next? I don't see anything next. I mean, we're in the, I feel like I'm still in that room. Mm -hmm. I feel like maybe everybody's standing around. Some are sitting. And it's, I think I'm just about to leave, but I don't know if I'm coming back to Earth. or. He said out. I could stay in heaven for a little bit. Let's find out. What do you do? Yeah, I'm staying. I'm staying for a while. Mm -hmm. So what do you do in heaven while you stay there? There's many people I love, many people I know. I have animals. I have a home. What does your home look like in heaven? It's so beautiful. It's, it's off a cliff, and flowers hang from the balcony. 
down several stories. I'm not really connected to the cliff. I'm just up next to it, mm -hmm. next to the waterfall. And all around me is just beautiful flowers, and they're flowing, and they're big. What are the colors like there? Reds and pinks and peaches and whites and... Oh my God, is that a house? Describe it. Wow. It's so beautiful. It sits right up next to the waterfall. You go out on this large balcony with Roman pillars on it, mm -hmm. and it's just full of beautiful flowers. It's so gorgeous, and there's some greenery and reds and white and pink, and oh my goodness. And I see people uh, are near me, but not next door to me. You know, they're at a distance, but just just far enough, mm -hmm. you know, so beautiful. And the clouds are so, it's not a dark blue, it's a very light blue, but a very beautiful blue. Some white coming through. Lots of vines, lots of hanging roses. They're like on vines. Not just going up the building, but like dripping down over the uh, the balcony next to the wall. Oh my God Almighty! Wow. Okay. <laughs> I know I'm near Jesus. I know I'm near you. I know He's close to me. Oh, Jesus, there you are. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I've loved you so long. I've loved you so much. <laughs> Describe the scene for me. I'm on the balcony and he's standing there. And I'm standing in front of him. I want to hug him. He says, go ahead. I do. <laughs> What does he look like to you? I said, oh God, you, you do look a lot like you do in the pictures. It's mm -hmm. it's amazing. So beautiful. I love him so much. Thank you. Were you there? You know, I knew it. I knew it. I knew you were. <laughs> Thank you. No, it's just about this. I just, my whole life was about this. I just wanted to thank you so much. What does he tell you? Oh, he's so proud of me. He's so proud of me. I said I killed people, and he said, it's okay. You're forgiven. You wanted to be forgiven. You're okay. I'll never think about that again. I didn't think I was worthy. Oh my goodness, he's so beautiful. It's amazing how close he looks. Like the way people must have had visions of him when they painted him. Because mm -hmm. he is so beautiful. What does he look like? Oh my goodness, his hair looks like it has two or three colors of brown in it. Mm -hmm. Not so black, but just a real beautiful brown in his beard and oh my goodness his eyes oh, they're color. green mm -hmm. they're green his eyebrows are so beautiful his hairline I've always loved him so much I wouldn't let myself think about him the first few years of my life and when I married my wife she introduced me to him, and I fell in love. I fell in love. I love him. He's so beautiful and peaceful. He loves me. Mm -hmm. What does he say about all of your gangster activities? That I've asked for forgiveness. I've cleaned my heart. Mm -hmm. It's not even noticed anymore. Mm -hmm. He said, you're clean. You're fine to not 
be anything but happy and glad. Has he been with you? My whole life. Mm -hmm. Even when I was bad, he was there. Oh my goodness, I would have never thought. I would have never thought. He was there. What was he doing while he was there? Holding me. Mm -hmm. Even when I was being bad, he said he knew I had good in me. And I'd reach it. I'd find it. His spark would never leave for me. That I would learn better. I'd be better. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what happens now. After you spend some time in this place. I'm going back to Earth, but I'm ready. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to be an engineer. I'm going to have a, a decent life. Mm -hmm. It will be hard, but I will, it will be no more than I can handle. I've been promised that. And then I'll always have guides and angels. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's see how it is that you go into this new life. I'm in someone's belly. Mm -hmm. I'm on a table and it's my birthday. I'm about to be born. Mm -hmm. Are you a boy or a girl? A boy. Mm -hmm. What are you feeling inside that belly? I don't think I feel anything other than just comfort and Happy to be coming. Mm -hmm. I'm happy. Did you choose your mom? Or did you just come into that belly bay? I don't remember choosing. I know that in the beginning they said they would help me with that. Mm -hmm. They may have been chosen for me. All right. So let's see what happens. My mom's holding me. I'm born. I'm a boy. How do you feel with your mom? Good. No negative feeling, no fear. Mm -hmm. I'm going to like it. I think I'm going to like it. What do they name you? Your baby. Mm -hmm. Bobby. Bobby. Bobby? Yeah, Robert. Mm -hmm. Bobby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very good. So let's close that scene and let's now move to another important scene in that same lifetime. Something that impacts your life. With the baby. As a baby. As Bobby. Mm -hmm. Elementary school's good. Baby ears are good. A little stress through elementary. Are you pretty smart, Bobby? Yes. Mm -hmm. very. I don't have any problems in school. I don't like junior high. What happens there? Nerd is mm -hmm. what I get. Mm. I'm called it. I'm a nerd at that school. They call you a nerd? Yeah. How does that make you feel? I don't like it. It's embarrassing. Mm -hmm. But I don't care because I'm smarter than them. That's all that matters. Mm -hmm. What do you do next? I, great, I do graduate high school. I see myself in college. And I did become an engineer. A chemical engineer. Mm -hmm. It was tough. We were poor growing up. But things are going to get better now. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to give my, give my wife and, and my family a good life if I can ever find me a wife. Mm -hmm. you know, I may not ever get one. I'm not too handsome, but I'm okay. Mm -hmm. I'm smart, and that's all that matters. Very good. 
So I'd like for you to go ahead and skim through that life, seeing the events of that life. And let's find a significant moment in that life. I did eventually get married and had kids. Mm -hmm. And I learned to just live peacefully. It's been a pretty easy life. It was hard being poor. I got through it. And I'll never be rich. And I'm okay with that. I just needed to be comfortable. We need to live a decent life. I don't want a rich life. I don't want a poor life. I need a decent life. And I feel like that's what I lived. Mm -hmm. So go all the way to the end of your life, the last day of your life, seeing all of the moments in between. And mm, I'm me. old. Mm -hmm. I lived into my 80s. I was an Indian, American Indian. Mm -hmm. No, sorry, an Indian from India. Mm -hmm. And my hair was black, but now it's gray. Mm -hmm. And what country do you live in? I lived in India. Mm -hmm. I was from there, but I was born in America. Mm -hmm. Born in America, and then we went to India. Oh, parents from India came to America when they had me, mm -hmm. to have me. Yes. Yeah. I feel like I'm old. I think I'm ready to go. All right. So take your last breath there. Release that soul from that body. And tell me what happens. Where do you go? I'm doing a tunnel. Mm -hmm. I'm going so fast. I, I didn't know what to expect. I, I didn't practice Hinduism. I didn't practice anything. I just was. I didn't like religion, but I, I feel like I'm going to a good place. Mm -hmm. And what does it feel like? Happy, mm -hmm. relief. I'm curious. I wasn't really sure if I was going to make it to heaven because I had a hard time with my wife. What happened to your wife? I I, I was mean to her. Mm -hmm. Well, I had to be. Why is that? She won't listen. Mm. I thought I was going to be judged for that. How do you feel now? I don't feel like I'm going to be punished for it. That I think I may have, through the years, have made up for it. I feel okay about it. I'm, I'm in heaven now. Mm -hmm. Who's there with you? Anybody? I just feel like it's my spirit guide. Mm -hmm. Let's find out. Maybe those are angels. Connect with them and find out. Raj. Raj. His spirit guide, is, that's his name, Raj. Mm -hmm. What does Raj say? That I did a good job. I did very, very well. Yeah. Where do you go next? I feel like I'm going home to heaven. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm going to my home. I feel like I was accepted through the tunnel, and now I feel like my loved ones are going to take me home to wherever my home is over there. Mm hmm Maybe my spirit guide. Maybe it's my spirit guide. Let's find Raj. out. Raj. Let's find out what Raj tells you. That's it. Mm -hmm. He said, that's where you're going. Let's see where you're going. Okay. What does it look like? So mounds. I see mounds. Mm -hmm. A lot of goats. I see lots of goats. Oh, there's sheep. That's sheep. Mm-hmm. What is this place? It's his home. Oh, look at all the animals running at me. Who are these animals? They're mine. They're my animals. They're mine. Oh, my. 
They're coming to greet me. Are these animals that you had? Horses. I've got several horses. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Were There's... these animals in your life as Bobby, or are these the animals oh. in your home? In my home. Mm -hmm. This is not from, from, from your life. my life, no. Mm -hmm. I, I see loved ones running at me. I'm being greeted. I'm walking towards my home. It's not a big home. It's not a mansion. It's the most beautiful home, but it's small and perfect for me and my family and my animals. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens after you're home for a while. We're eating. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're not eating. We're at a table. I don't see food. Mm -hmm. Who's at the table with you? My family. Everybody that from different lives. Mm -hmm. Not just my past life. There's family from different lives. Mm -hmm. How do they recognize me? How do they dress? Gold and off-white. Mm. Sleeves to the elbow. The length is to the ankle. Can There's you some kind of like a shawl around the shoulders on some people, and some people don't have that. Mm -hmm. Looks like the older ones have the shawls. And do you recognize them? I do. Mm -hmm. I know all of them. As you're around this table, is there any discussion? I think it's just all positive talk and reminiscing and we're talking about our lessons we've learned and, and how wonderful it is and planning our next lives and what we'll do next. Mm -hmm. Who will represent, who's going to want to be part of this family and We've had many lives together, so it's not just like a family from mom and dad. It's the family that we've all lived together. I've had lives together and lived in the same times together. Mm -hmm. They're my family. So let's find out when it is that you plan your life as Linda. Does your family get involved? They pretty much will send you, you will go into a family to where you will m learn the most. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that it's going to be great and it doesn't mean it's going to be bad. But these people that will be your parents will learn many lessons from you. You're not going there to just learn lessons from them. and they choose the right scenario. They know who everybody is, who you will do good with, who you will, and what your lessons will be. It will set you into the most perfect family, even if it's you had, don't like it. It was what will build you up and strengthen your, your soul, you know. Mm -hmm. So let's find out if any of these family members from the soul are going to go into the life of Linda. I don't see that at all. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Maybe he's, that's who I am next. Mm -hmm. Maybe he goes in, maybe I am him, my Bobby, in my next life. No, there's another life between. Mm -hmm. What life is between? I'm a woman. All right, let's find out. What happens in that life? I'm a black woman. Mm -hmm. A black woman. Sing, I can sing. Mm-hmm. What do you sing? 
I'm in a little bar. I see myself in a little bar. And I'm singing. Mm -hmm. I'm a skinny, not too tall, white. What's your name? Chica. Mm -hmm. I think that's my nickname. They call you Chica? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where are you? I'm in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. I'm in a jazz bar. And I'm singing. What do you sing about, Chica? I love jazz. A lot of blues. Mm -hmm. I'm in a green dress. I got a flower in my hair. And I love what I do. How old are you there, Chica? 1941. Mm-hmm. Tell me more about your life. I see myself singing and then I leave out and walk down the street. It's cold. I've got my jacket on and I'm running. I'm trying to catch the taxi. I feel so happy about where I'm going. Mm -hmm. I think I have a date. It's, it's so cold sleeting out. Mm -hmm. I run and I get into the taxi and and um, see me in it. Then I'm being let out in front of a townhouse in New York. I've, I've traveled from New Jersey to New York. I just seem happy. Mm -hmm. Let's see who you meet in that townhouse. It's a man. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm on a date. I'm, I'm like, yeah. I had never been there before, so I'm a little nervous. What happens, Chica? The butler opened the door. Mm -hmm. He let me in. I'm so impressed. Oh, my goodness. The tiles are black and white. Iron stair railings, it's so beautiful. Mm, pretty fancy oh my place, goodness. isn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. I feel so happy. I'm thinking, how does a black man make this kind of money? He's a lawyer. He's a lawyer. And everybody's so proud of him. Strangers are proud of him. I will marry him. I feel like I, I, I'm going to love this guy and marry him one day. Mm -hmm. That's all I feel right now. Very good. So let's close that scene okay. and let's move ahead to see what happens in your life, Chica. Okay. What happens next? It's important. I made it. Where did you make it to? I, I had my husband. I've got four kids. I feel old and satisfied and happy to have done this life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel very happy and I'm ready to go. I'm very ready. I don't want to leave anybody. I want to take them all with me. But I know God's calling. All right, so leave that life behind, take your last breath, and as you leave, look back at that life and tell me, what was the purpose of that life? I had to learn to be patient. Mm, why is that? How to forgive. My parents were very nice to me, but I forgave them. I've had a lot of problems with people, but I've learned how to forgive. Mm -hmm and let Jesus take the wheel. Did you learn any lessons in that life? 
to, to love unconditionally, and to forgive, completely forgive, not just words. How did you do that, Chica? I forgave my parents. Mm -hmm. And I meant it. I loved my wife. I love my children, my grandchildren. I've had a good life. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens. Where do you go to? Who meets you now? I see myself at a funeral home in a casket. Mm -hmm. What do you my look like? My family standing next to me. I've got uh, a lot of gray, but neatly fixed hair, and they have my flower, my white flower in my hair, mm -hmm. above my right ear. Mm -hmm. I feel like I look pretty good for a 70-something year old lady. Mm -hmm. I do have a lot of gray hair, but there's some black there too. I think I was pretty good looking, and I had a heck of a voice. I did get, get to cut an album, but it didn't make me any money, but I was the pride of my life. So as you look at yourself in that casket, who's there around you? My kids, mm -hmm. my wife, other people. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of friends mm -hmm. and a lot of co-workers, friends. It's full in there. Mm -hmm. I can gen tell that they're genuinely sad that I'm gone. Mm -hmm. A lot of tears. Who is your wife? Becca. Mm-hmm. What oh, lie? That's Bobby's wife. I'm Chica now. I'm married to a man. What did you see? I'm not married to a woman. I'm married to a man. I know that, that, uh... So who is that wife? I can't think. I can't get a name. Mm-hmm. Are you seeing a different life, Chica? I think I was in Bobby's life there for a second. Mm-hmm. But, okay, I'm back, I'm back, I'm okay. Mm-hmm. And my husband, Harry. Mm-hmm. Harry. It's a bigger name, but Harry for short. Mm-hmm. Very good. So leave that life behind now. Let's go back to your guides, to your soul family. What happens? I feel like I've just... Um, I was, I'm very happy to be there, but I really wanted my kids to be with me. Mm -hmm. So what are you feeling? Very happy. Relieved. Mm -hmm. So I was hurting everywhere. I was sick. I had a cancer. Why did you go that way? Just depression from my childhood. Mm -hmm. I developed cancer from it. Mm -hmm. I fought it for years. I'm okay now. I'm home. Very good. Very good. So I'd like for you to close that scene, allowing you now to disconnect from all of those lifetimes. And I'd like to ask the higher self, Linda's higher self, what did you show her these lifetimes? What was the significance of all of these lifetimes? She's learned the same lessons, and then some, mm -hmm. throughout each life she's lived. Mm -hmm. I think all the other lives were preparing her for this life. Why was this life so important? She took on a lot, mm -hmm. but she's a warrior. We knew she could do it. Mm -hmm. So we let her. We didn't talk her out of it. What was the purpose of this lifetime? To learn empathy, hmm. unconditional love, forgiveness, and self-love. 
but she's put herself through quite an adventure in this lifetime. She has. Mm -hmm. She's really put herself in a lot of bad situations. We really had to come and rescue her many times. So why is it that she has put herself in these situations? Is she just testing her angels and guides? She come into this life knowing that it was going to be hard. And she knew she bit off more than she could chew, but mm -hmm. she said she could do it, and we felt like she could too. She's learning a lot of lessons. Mm -hmm. What are the lessons that she's learning? Again, empathy. Empathy. Mm -hmm. Unconditional love. Patience. She's learning it all. But she's strong. She's a warrior. She could have even done more. She would have never broke. Mm. So she talks about all of these near-death experiences. She wants to know who are these angels that save her. Archangel Michael and Raphael mm -hmm. were there in Louisiana. We saved her. That was a pretty we were tough. there many times. Mm -hmm. Who was that one on Padre Island? The one on the bench? Raphael. <laughs> Archangel Raphael. He looked like an old man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that possible for these archangels to take on appearances? Yes, they can. Mm -hmm. And what about this car that appeared out of nowhere. It was Archangel Michael and Raphael. <laughs> they drive a, they drive, drive a car? They did for that moment <laughs> to get her out of there. And what about the crater? Who was that little girl? She was an angel. Mm -hmm. she, was, she did help her. She mm -hmm. did. Mm -hmm. She always doubted. She didn't. She just knew that the, that that girl belonged to someone there, but she was an angel. Mm -hmm. So that's why she could never find her afterwards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about that situation with that serial killer? Was yes. it an angel that saved her? It sure did. If we wouldn't have been there, he would have made her crash. Mm -hmm. He would have hit her. And he was the tourniquet killer. He was. And he would have used a tourniquet on her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was him. She recognized him. She didn't realize it for decades until she saw them talking about the tourniquet killer in Houston. Mm -hmm. And then she knew. That's when she realized we were. it was us. Mm -hmm. Has she really come close to losing her life 20 times? Many times. Many times. Why is it? It may not have been exactly 20 times, mm -hmm. but it was very close. Mm -hmm. Some she just misunderstood. Okay, good. What happened to her when she overdosed? Where did she go? She stayed with her body. She did? Yeah. So she didn't go... No. Anywhere. She didn't separate. Okay. She didn't die, and she thought she did, but she didn't. So that wasn't a near-death experience. That was it just... It was a coma. It was a coma. Yeah. And she never left. Was she, was she able to remember anything that happened? No. No. Okay. Were the angels with her at that time, too? Yeah. And they were going to... They did think she was dead. Mm hmm And it was of them moving her body to go bury it that woke... brought her out of her coma. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, but they did think she was dead. And they were going to bury her out there at Dick Clayburg Park. Mm -hmm. But we were with her. And we're never going to let that happen. <laughs> so you would have done something else yeah, we to are. avoid the burying. It would have never happened. Good. Now she wants to know if she has been visited by her mother and her brother since they passed. Yes, mm -hmm. that was there. What did they want to tell her? That they were sorry. They loved me. I forgave them 
already I told him that. I said, oh, you're already forgiven. And to thank you for visiting me. Do they have a message? Mom's real sick over what she had done. Mm -hmm. Wayne didn't treat me too well either. And they came back to apologize. Do they have any message for her today? Just keep going. I'm on the right track. Mm -hmm. Stay sweet and kind. Love Jesus the way you do. Keep loving him. You'll be okay. Very good. Now, she has a question about sister. Did she really wake up by a spirit to call her mom and tell her? To yes. pray for her that yes, day? Yes, we did. Mm -hmm. We woke Sister Brumley up. Mm -hmm. Because we knew her mother would listen to her. She, they were good friends. Mm -hmm. her mother was stubborn, but she would listen to her. So we had her call. And the prayers were needed. They were needed. I would have saved her anyway, but we need prayers. What happens when one prays? It raises vibration. Mm -hmm. That's when they can really work on you and save you and... You know, it just makes everything so much easier when you're right in your heart and praying and meditating and instead of bad luck, it's you're going to be overjoyed with good luck. Mm -hmm. Good things will happen to you. That's what saved Linda all these years. She said she never went through anything without calling out to me or Jesus. Mm -hmm. She called out to both of us. So we know how Jesus met her after that life. Yeah. How has Jesus been walking with her in this life as Linda? Oh, he loves her so much. He watches her very, very closely. Very proud of her. Mm -hmm. She wanted Jesus to show her her new home or her home in the new world. Is this what he already showed her? Or is this going to be a different home? That is my home. That is. The one that I thought of was with Bobby. That, he says, that's my home. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's the same spirit. Okay, I got you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is, yeah, I've seen my home. So that's a pretty nice home. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So now she'll know when she thinks about her future, that's yes. where she goes. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's her home. He we didn't let her go inside because we got to say something to surprise her. <laughs> now, when she went back as the engineer, she went to a different home. Why did she go to a different one as the engineer where all these animals were meeting him? Is that what he saw as his perfect yes. home? Yes, mm -hmm. peaceful and beautiful and and just right. Mm -hmm. you know. Good. Yeah. Now she has questions. Since she's been listening to things that are going on around the world, she wants to know where she should move to. Should she move away from the Gulf Coast? No. If something happens, she will know, mm -hmm. and she'll know in time, and she will be able to do what she's got to do in time to get out of there. Mm -hmm. She doesn't have to move unless there's just something she wants to do. Mm -hmm. So, as she's seen in her whole life, she's always been protected no matter what. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. She's very special to me. Why is she so special? I've just always loved being her guide. Mm-hmm. I love the way she has always prayed, even when things were really, really bad. Mm -hmm. She found that place on my lap. Mm -hmm. Just like in the picture. Yeah. Did you throw in a little lamb, too? I did. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. So she has a question. The moment God takes us in the rapture, will she just disappear 
at that very moment or ascend? Ascend. Ascend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you think it'll feel for her? There's nobody that's been wanting to go home as much as she has. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever been a guide to anyone that's that has thought of heaven every single day of her life and mm -hmm. Jesus and, and just craved it and wanted it and uh, we constantly have to keep her from killing herself. Mm -hmm. She never really tries, she just has the thoughts. Yes. She never lifts the hand to do it, but she's always, I, I just want to go home. Mm -hmm. That's all she ever says. <laughs> mm -hmm. She will be ready. She will. Just yeah. like she's seen today. Yeah. Is she a star seed in this life? Yes, she is. She is. Yes. What is her responsibility or her role as a star seed? Is to shine my light for everyone. Even if I never opened up my mouth, mm -hmm. I can walk into a room, into a building. Most people don't even have to see me. But my vibration's high enough that even strangers will say they're feeling better and they don't even know why. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to look at her, they don't have to stand next to her. She just needs to be there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just be there. That's it. And as the star, star seed, she says she saw an orb once. That was us. She thought it was her mom, but Who it was, was it? me. Uh, me, Frankie, her spirit guide, she begged for me. Mm -hmm. She did a Sylvia Brown <laughs> meditation tape to meet her spirit guide, and we met. Mm -hmm. And soon after that, I let her see me as a norb. You know, she saw me. Mm -hmm. She wasn't the least bit scared, and that's what we love about her. Nothing ever scares her. So how many angels and guides does she have now, at this moment? Two guides. Who are their names? Who are they? Frankie and Sammy. Frankie and Sammy. Mm-hmm. And what about the angels? Many angels come and go. Mm -hmm. Some will stay, a couple of them will stay probably her whole life. Mm -hmm. But many other angels come and go mm -hmm. for whatever she's needing at that moment. So how many do we have here today in attendance? Six. Six? Yeah. Mm, who are they? We have Archangel Michael. Mm -hmm. We have Archangel Gabriel. We have four beautiful angels to the right of her, and Archangels are standing at her feet. I think he's saying he's behind me. My spirit guide's behind me, mm -hmm. or to my right of me or somewhere. Mm -hmm. Good. Do they have any particular roles to play in her life at this time? She needs to just stay where she's at, pray, meditate, stay positive, mm -hmm. fight the negative thoughts. She does real good. She's doing really good with that. Mm -hmm. It was a big battle, but she won. She's winning it. Mm -hmm. Continue to love. Have empathy and be good to her family. She is good to them. They love her very much. Mm -hmm. Did any of her family members and her live other past lives together? Brothers. Mm -hmm. I've lived my life with my brothers before, but not my sister. Okay. That's all I got. Mm -hmm. And did she have any talents that she brought forward from those lives? She was a pianist. Mm. Does she play piano this life? She has a beautiful baby grand and doesn't touch it. Mm -hmm. It's just there for looks. It's a shame because she has a talent still in her. Would it help her? She's trained her grandkids on the piano. but Would it help her to ignite that passion again? It would. It would be mm -hmm. healing for her. Good. And she knows this. We work on it. We tell her. And she fights it because she feels like every time she sits down, she's going to cry because she had a passion for it and then didn't do anything with it. Now she spends her whole life regretting it when all she has to do is sit down. Even at 60, she can learn it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be something she wants to do. She needs to do it. 
So can I ask on her behalf for a guide who specifically can show her how to play the piano will motivate her. If she wants Mozart, we can call on him. We can call on anybody she wants. Let's see who she wants. Take a deep breath in and let's find out from Linda who she would like to call in to help her with her piano playing. Mozart's good. All right, good. Thank you so much. So can I have an agreement that we'll have Mozart as her, yes. as her piano teacher? Yes. Good. Thank you so much. What about writing her book? She says that her family has already written some books. They're such great writers. Mm -hmm. They are all the worst procrastinators. Mm -hmm. Will they be successful? Yes, they will if they get up. Mm -hmm. and do it. What about her? She's got that... She's known that all her life. Mm -hmm. Ever since she started going through these experiences, we've told her that it's a testimony and you must share it. Mm -hmm. It's a testimony and it needs to be shared. So, who's going to help her get her book out? Fitzgerald. Mm -hmm. Who's that? Fitzgerald? Okay. Is that that sounds familiar. Mm -hmm. I, I, they said I will get help. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay. I'd like to thank Fitzgerald and Mozart for their teachings. And is there anything else that you wanted to tell her today that I haven't touched on? She's waited her whole life for this moment to be told to, to write her book. Mm hmm her book is not just going to be a book. People are going to love it. Mm -hmm. She has a great story to tell. A great survival story. Why Most people do not go through what she goes through. Did she choose all of these? She did. Mm -hmm. We let her. We tried to tell her, but she does that in a lot of her life. So she bites off more than she can chew. We were so confident that she could do it, and we would never leave her side. And we got her through it, and she is stronger because of it. And we love she... her over here. We love her so much. Mm -hmm. Any other messages from anybody else? No fear. Quit thinking about Planet X, flooding. Quit it. Stop. Negative thoughts. If it happens and your your vibration's up, you're going to be okay. You're going to be the eye of the storm, in the eye of the storm. Mm -hmm. It can be chaotic around you, but you will be safe. Very good. Yeah. So I'd like for you now to scan her body, see if there's anything there that we need to tend to today. Or is she good? Mm -hmm. Sinuses. Mm -hmm. It's causing the sinuses. She smokes. Mm -hmm. She shouldn't smoke. Mm -hmm. What's that smoke causing? Many, many problems, but she's whining about her sinuses. Mm -hmm. And if she would just stop smoking, they would get better. Mm hmm. Does Linda want to stop the smoke or not? No, she doesn't. She well, loves it. Then there's nothing we can do except perhaps ask for those angels to keep reminding her. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anything else that you see in her body today that we need to take care of? Mm. She's got a bad heart. Mm -hmm. Bad several clots. Clog. Oh, it's clogged. Mm -hmm. What's causing the clogging in her heart? She eats fat. She likes real tasty fat food, mm -hmm. fattening food. And she knows better. Can I request assistance today from the higher self and the angels, especially Archangel Raphael, to yes. go ahead and begin working on her heart? Yes. So that we can get those clogs out? Yes. And safely out of her body. Let's disintegrate those clogs. Okay.
Very good. Anything else? No. Very good. Thank you so much. Wow. Yeah. That was wonderful. Oh my goodness. I felt that deep love. I did get to see my home in heaven. Beautiful. And when I was looking at it, I didn't even know it was going to be mine. You know, wonderful. it was my other spirit. I mean, the other time I lived. <laughs> it's still you. Oh my goodness. I lived my whole life for this, to be able to speak to, just, just having that conversation with the other side, you know. What a beautiful experience. Oh, just beautiful. I got answers and everything, you know, things I've wondered all my life, you know. I will never wonder those things again. And you lived a lot of different lifetimes. Yeah. Just in the last hundred years, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. really amazing. Isn't it funny? I was a jazz singer in New Jersey. Isn't that something? Wow. Married a lawyer? Yeah. Yeah. And at the end yeah. there, you, you kept switching from one memory to another. Yeah. You went from one funeral to another. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I not, and I didn't realize that until I was uh, realized I was explaining Bobby's home, and that was yeah. my home. Yeah. That's what he, they were, I was being known, that's me. That's when I meet this world. Yeah. That's where I'll be going home. And uh, you go back with your family. Yeah. And your family was big family. Yeah, yeah. It was amazing. Yeah. It's just amazing. How did your body feel? Oh, very relaxed, and I feel like I'm floating on cloud nine. <laughs> <laughs> it's this, a wonderful feeling. Is this a session you want to share? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Absolutely. I think it was beautiful. Thank you. So, this was a really detailed, detailed mm. one. It was beautiful. It, it was just healing. It's, it's, it's just wonderful, you know? Yeah. You do get, you feel like you're in touch with the spirit world. Mm -hmm. And you, and she described her home. What is this home? Oh, it's, it's just more than your imagination. I could have never have thought of that. I could have never. <laughs> it's so beautiful and not only the beauty, but it's the peace, the mm -hmm. love and unconditional love you'll feel there, mm -hmm. you know. And wonderful. each life was totally different. Yeah. The gangster? Yeah. I mean, the yeah. gangster, you were kind of mean. <laughs> it's like you were in the car saying, I'm going to get this guy. Yeah, I must have been really mad at him because I didn't even care that I was going to die. Yeah. You know, I was yeah. willing. I was that yeah. mad. So what did it feel like to be in hypnosis? Just relaxed, not, you don't, you're not sleeping, you're not out. You know, you're aware of everything, but you just kind of feel like it's not you talking. And I'm seeing a movie the whole time. I, I could hardly keep up with the movie. You know, it was. <laughs> I'm very visual. So, do you feel that you were seeing a lot more than you explained? I do a lot more. I wish I could have just been able to explain everything I was seeing. You, you kind of feel like you're on when you're on vacation and you look around. You feel like your eyes can't see enough. Fast enough. <laughs> yeah. Taking pictures. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Good, good. So, this is something that you would recommend to people? Oh, to everyone. If your soul's crying out for this, mm -hmm. it's needing it. Mm -hmm. It just needs to tap in. That's all it is. You really have it in you. Yeah. But you just need to learn how to tap into it. Mm hmm. Or and a little you, help. Do you think that this is going to help you with the writing of your book? I do. I have no doubt now that I'm supposed to do it and mm -hmm. I will do it. And I, I know I'm going to get help. Who was Fitzgerald? I've heard that name, but did I say it right? Yes. <laughs> Fitzgerald. I can't picture that for some reason. Well, you have to you have to Google it now. I'm going to have to do that, I, I guess so. I've heard of the other one that I said. Mozart. Mozart. Who would have ever thought? When I said that, I, I thought to her. Her new piano teacher. There's no way I'm going to get the best pianist on the on the planet ever to exist, you know. And there you go. Yeah. You can ask for anybody. Yeah. I mean, when you're looking for assistance, ask. Yeah. yeah. And that's why you were told that they really appreciate the fact that you're always praying. Yes. That you always have the prayer yes. in everything you do. I do. And that has saved your life. Many times. Many, many, many times. Yeah. Very yeah. good. Yeah. Very good. And it's so funny I said that because I've even said that before. Sometimes I feel like I chewed bit off more than I can chew. I don't say it now because my life is so wonderful now, but back when it was bad. Yeah. I used to think, if I, you know, when I knew that we chose this life, you know, and I wondered, what was I thinking? 
Well, now we know. <laughs> you bit off more than you can chew. You knew yeah. that you can handle it. Yeah. And you had, you had those archangels. And they had no doubt in me. Yeah, no that. doubt. Terrific. So if you would like a session with me, go to albawyman.com. Go to the Out of Town page. There you can sign up for the newsletter, and you will see where I'm going to next. Right now, we are in Houston, Texas. How far did you have to drive today? Uh, about 35, 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. So here. she's local. Yeah. So, yeah. And uh, hopefully I'll get to see you when I travel around. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love this session. I love mm -hmm. all of the sessions. I can't, yeah. I can't lie. I love them all. <laughs> but this one was so detailed. It was so wonderful. I just got caught up in it, too. You do? Oh, thank you so much. So thank I you very much. It. I hope I get to see you sometime soon. Thank you. Bye. Oh, I didn't want to do that right there. Thank you.